So there's been some questions about whether or not the R720 will let you use a video card without having 1100 watt power supplies installed. Right now, this is a R720 that was one of my test units for a while before I upgraded. And I have it on running. It has dual 750 watt power supplies in it at the moment. It previously had 1100 watt power supplies, but those got moved over to my better R720 I'm running. I also had video cards in it previously, but not anymore, obviously. So it's going to be angry for a second, because I unplugged the, uh, or not unplugged, I removed the top cover. But I just wanted to show the, you know, no, not, nothing, nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to be mean, and I'm going to unplug the server. It's going to be unhappy. Also, just for transparency, 750 watt. And this is configured with uh, dual 6-core CPUs and 128 gig of RAM. And this is a Quadro 4000 2 gig graphics card, single slot. Oops. Requires a single 6-pin for power. Which isn't really going to push this, but I just wanted to see for myself and other, but other people's curiosity if it'll work. And then we go from here. That's not the right cable. Okay, well, I have to grab a different cable real quick. So I guess this won't be a continuous cut. All right, I'm back with what should be the appropriate cable this time. If not, well, sparks will fly. <laughs> I hope, hope this, this is the right cable. It's one I was previously using. Let's see here. I'm not going to bother with routing that, even though... Where's the intrusion? I don't remember if it's this. No, it's just going to have to be angry. Alright. Oh, huh, immediately powered up. Okay, I'll take it. So, we'll get to see together what this will do. The uh, card is showing it's getting power because there's a little green light. I don't have any uh, beefier cards handy at the moment. It'd be nice to take something that requires the two 8 pens, um, like a, I can't think of a good example, like a GTX 1080, or even a 1070, but I don't have any loose cards like that sitting around, so that's why I went with the uh, Quadro 4000. My expectation is this lifecycle controller is going to configure the system and get upset, but I may be wrong. Also, this server is not going to boot because I don't have. I pulled the drives out of it. I don't want it to to boot to what's installed on it right now. If this does allow me to power the video card, then I will try to make a different video of one of these booting into Windows 10 with inadequate power supply configuration. I wish I had access to some higher power CPUs because I know there is a uh, TDP limit in these servers when running video cards for the CPUs, but I don't want to buy CPUs just to test that. I have a feeling I might have to uh, route that power cable. <laughs> the fans are a little bit angrier than I was expecting them to be. Oh, there's the intrusion switch. Let's see if we can get that to settle down a little. 
And I gotta hit it here. Oh, that's a good sign. It's not, uh... It's not throwing any errors yet. <laughs> I gotta find something to hold that down. No, that's not my finger. Alright, so life cycle is currently addressing the hardware change. I don't think it's going to be happy, to be honest. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, just waiting for it to boot. I feel like the fans are being a little bit more excitable than normal, but... I'm not sure. This configuration is a little different than my current test server. Not getting any warning messages though. I genuinely thought that they would uh, reject it and give me some sort of warning message. Huh. Well, <laughs> I don't know what it's doing now. Huh. I'm just being impatient, that's all. The fans do seem unhappy though, worth noting. Currently my power draw is 154 watts. And I do have the intrusion switch covered up, so it shouldn't be mad about the case being open. It shouldn't be able to tell. I think there might be something else going on here. Gonna have to wait for it to uh, cycle though before I can find out what's going on. Huh. Well, no warnings. 
Uh, let's go to BIOS. I don't think there's going to be logs. Yeah, it's crying about the chassis intrusion. That's no big deal. Those are old. Those OEM diagnostic events are because I had a PCI Express card that wasn't negotiating properly. I'm not sure why the fans are so unhappy though. This is definitely not normal behavior. Let me see if I need to hold it with my finger. Alright, I guess just my method of trying to push down the switch wasn't good enough. The fans are running a little high though. So... Well, I guess I'm going to make another video with this uh, running in Windows. I might try to find a better video card. I don't know quite for sure yet, but it might not be necessary. I just assumed that Lifecycle would block you from uh, running a powered video card in the system. So, yeah, I have to make another video.